Hello friends God is good all the time praise his holy name Last Sunday we heard how God listens to all our prayers He heard the prayer requests of the Israelites by providing for them food as well as water in the wilderness Today before we continue let us sign ourselves in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit amen Loving Father you dwell in each one of us but yet we fail to see your presence and acknowledge your presence within us Forgive us Lord but also give us the grace and strength to always depend on you We make this prayer through Jesus Christ our Lord amen Friends today we shall continue from where we left The last time I mentioned that the Israelites were parched for water in the wilderness and Yahweh said to Moses strike the rock at the foot of Mount Horeb and you will get fresh water So it is clear that Yahweh gave them fresh water at the foot of the holy mountain which is Horeb and also known as Mount Sinai Now they were at the end of 2 months in the wilderness and close to Midian where Moses lived for 40 years before he went back to Egypt Now very soon they will be nearing the place where Moses' father-in-law lives in Midian Yahweh calls Moses up to the mountain of Horeb also known as Mount Sinai and asks him to go and tell the people to cleanse themselves have a bath wash their clothes and be ready to meet Yahweh So you see cleansing is very important before we encounter God We too are called to cleanse ourselves by receiving the sacrament of confession that is like taking a bath and are cleansed in order to meet our god now why was this important because yahweh wants the whole community of israel to know him personally right from the time of abraham god spoke only to the one he called and people believed in their leader but there were many especially family members and others too who found it difficult to believe and accept because they never had experienced god we must not forget that every land on earth had their own gods including the people of israel not one but many Now once and for all God wanted to clear their minds and hearts and show them that he is the one true living God. When God called Moses through the burning bush he said to him I am the God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob. Only Moses knew it and all along God would speak to him alone as he was chosen by God. to bring the people out of Egypt even his brother Aaron did not have an encounter with God so as we read Exodus chapter 19 verse 10 again Yahweh spoke to Moses go to the people and have them sanctified today and tomorrow let them wash their garments and be ready for the third day For on the third day Yahweh will come down on Mount Sinai in the sight of all people verse 16 On the morning of the third day there was thunder and lightning and a dense cloud covered the mountain and a very loud trumpet blast was heard All the people in the camp trembled verse 17 Moses then made all the people leave the camp to meet God and stand at the foot of the mountain 
verse 18 mount sinai was completely covered with smoke because yahweh had come down in fire and the smoke rose as from a furnace you can imagine the fear among the people the whole mountain shook violently while the blast of the trumpet became louder and louder moses spoke and god replied in thunder this scared all the israelites and they trembled to hear the voice of god now we see here that god only spoke did not reveal himself because he is spirit he has no form to reveal secondly what god was showing to his people was a depiction of mount zion that is heaven here the people were asked not to touch the foot of the mountain but later they will be able to enter mount zion that is heaven provided they are clean and holy so now he is teaching his people how to be holy and discipline their lives he gives moses the laws and regulations the people were so frightened that they told moses you only speak we are frightened to hear yahweh now they know for sure that moses is a chosen leader by god for they all heard the voice of god they were ready to follow all that moses said god is now making a new covenant with laws and regulations to help the people to be disciplined they had various practices and various gods now yahweh wants them to become a holy nation today god is also asking us to fulfill his commands we must realize that every time we break his commandments through our actions words thoughts or even intentions we reject our loving god but we need to be holy and only then we can enter mount zion the heavenly kingdom now just to recap and connect the old and the new testament we see the israelites crossed the red sea that was like baptism for them then they were led into the wilderness then they were called at the foot of the mountain where they encounter god and finally god gives them the laws and regulations which are written down in exodus chapter 21 22 and 23 so three chapters of laws and regulations now let us see how this takes place in the life of jesus jesus when he was starting his ministry first goes to the river jordan and gets baptized then he is led into the wilderness then later he goes up on the mountain and teaches his people the beatitudes and finally gives them instructions on how to live a good life this again is mentioned in three chapters of matthew 5 6 and 7 jesus did not change any law or rules but perfected them so that we could understand them better and put into practice in our lives the ten commandments are known to all of us so i will not explain them to you but if required we can read them in exodus chapter 20 so that we can refresh our memory and accordingly do the needful by correcting and cleansing ourselves my dear friends i will stop here and will continue next sunday till then be faithful and be blessed god loves you and wants all of us to have a relationship with him amen